Hey kiddos, how are y'all doing? Hope uh, things are going smoothly for you. Everything's French fries crispy. Um, I'm gonna be teaching you how to draw a bird today. Specifically, a robin in wintertime. Notice I start things off with a pencil, a very light pencil. This way, I'm just mapping things out. Let's see. The bird is basically an oval. with some things popping off of it, the top and the bottom. Another oval on top. Triangle for the beak. Always try to break things down into shapes, things you do know how to draw. That'll make things a lot easier. And once I have my basic shapes down, I'm going to get the basic color swatches down as well. And let's get the wing in here. The wing is kind of like half of a heart. If you could cut a, uh, the icon of a heart in half, you'd get this wing. All right. Um, it's got kind of an orange belly, the robin. And we're just gonna try to give it some texture when I splotch it in. Go at your own pace with this. Have fun. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just enjoy the process of drawing and painting. So all I've done is made a couple of ovals and I started coloring one of the ovals in with an orange. We're going to leave the white, the white of the paper for this exercise. And the rest of the uh, Robin sort of a blackish color on top a blackish gray so I'm going to mix my white with some black to make a gray Sometimes I'm going to be broad with my, oh, my strokes. Sometimes I'm going to be spe specific, give it a little diversity. And I'm looking at a picture of a bird while I do this, mind you. I'm not just doing this from memory. I'm, and I suggest that you do the same. His feet are kind of black. And he's got some yellow in his feet. And that's all we're going to really do for watercolor right now. Notice how it's going to be, we're going to keep it simple and we're, I'm going to teach you a little trick of watercolor which is using a hair dryer to dry things faster.
Very good. From here I'm going to use some black India ink markers to get the details in on top of my watercolored pictures. And here you can go slowly and I'm getting a black outline for my bird. For my robin. It's a nice animal. I might go back in to it with the India ink as well. With the watercolor, I mean. So a little dab will do you at the watercolor. You don't have to put a lot of watercolor in. You can mix it with magic marker to some nice effect. And remember the magic word with drawing a bird is texture. Try to get the texture of the feathers by making little texture movements and making these little upswing ticks right here in the, the black marker. And there you have it. You got yourself a little robin. Okay Helen, how do you turn this off? <laughs>